The needle and syringe was invented 160 years ago and most vaccines are delivered that way. Vaccines are a hugely successful technology. Millions of lives have been saved with, with vaccines. But there's many problems associated with the needle and syringe. Obvious ones include needle phobia. Not many of us like the needle and indeed 20% of the population have a thing called needle phobia where they're actively choosing not to be vaccinated. Another issue is needle stick injuries. 1.3 million deaths per year take place due to problems associated with needle stick injuries. Here at Vaxis, we're developing an approach to overcome those problems and indeed other problems with the needle and syringe. And we call it the nano patch. It is a silicon wafer with 10,000 tiny projections that are invisible to the human eye. We dry coat vaccine to the tips of those projections and apply the patch to the skin for only a short period of time, a minute or two, and then we remove the patch and dispose of it. So beyond the obvious issues like needle stick injuries and needle phobia, there's two major advantages associated with the nano patch. The first is improved immune responses and the second is removing uh, the cold chain. So let me explain how, how vaccines work. Uh, so vaccines take a, a thing like a germ and get it into a safe form and we inject those into the body and we trick the body into mounting an immune response so that when the real invader comes along, uh, the body can already deal with those uh, invaders and indeed neutralize them. Now the way it's currently done uh, is that the antigens, uh, which are these uh, safe forms of germs, are injected with a needle and syringe into muscle. But what we've found is that the skin is a far more attractive site for, for, for vaccines. It's jammed full of immune cells. And by accessing uh, that skin site with a nano patch, we've unlocked improved capabilities one example of that is uh, removing, or in indeed I should say, reducing uh, the dose that's required uh, from a, a standard vaccine. We can reduce the dose by 100 fold, for instance, so taking a vaccine that might cost $50 down to the cost of 50 cents. So that's one example to help make existing vaccines work better. But another approach is to help get new vaccines over the line. Uh, so for instance, we could improve the immune responses for an HIV vaccine or a malaria vaccine, and those vaccines don't currently exist. So that's a huge advantage uh, of, of the nano patch. Finally, I'd like to mention perhaps the most exciting element of the nano patch. When the vaccine is in dry form, it does not need refrigeration. We have shown that we can store the nano patch at 23 degrees Celsius for 12 months with no loss in activity. That potentially can remove the need for the cold chain for vaccines. Currently, billions of dollars are being sunk into maintaining the cold chain. Imagine if we could divert that funding into other areas of healthcare. Here at Vaxis, we're motivated by a mission to help improve the reach of vaccines to people that need them the most. Currently, there are 17 million deaths per year due to infectious disease. With this device, the nanopatch, we hope to help make that level of death a historical footnote.